Hello, my name is Ryan Monroe and I'm a senior client associate here with Versant Capital Management. My wife and I recently welcomed a new baby boy to our family and we couldn't be more proud. It's been a tremendous source of, source of pride and happiness for us, but also a little bit of angst as we try to protect for this young man's future. I wrote an article detailing all the steps that we went through and I wanted to go high level and just talk about each one of the points of the article. Now, it's a tremendously horrible thing to think about, but one of the worst things can, that can happen to a child is the potential loss of one or both parents. Now, a way that you can mitigate this risk is that you want to appoint a legal guardian for your child should something happen to both parents. You want to include this individual in the discussion to make sure that they are both ready and willing to accept the responsibility. Now, there's also a financial risk associated with the loss of one or both parents, and that can be mitigated through the use of a life insurance policy. Term life insurance policies are just that. It's just pure insurance that doesn't pay out unless the, the worst of events happen. Now, children just need protection through their most formative years, typically 18 to 20 years. So a level term 15 to 20 year policy will probably cover that for you. There's another area where even if both parents are surviving, but there's an issue with disability and a parent is unable to work, that can also create havoc on a family's monthly budget. So you're gonna to wanna to review any disability insurance coverage that's offered through your employer. And if you would like to supplement that policy, you can uh, purchase an additional policy through the private sector. Now with these policies in place, you wanna make sure to review all of your beneficiaries on all of your accounts. Most people will typically appoint their surviving spouse as the primary beneficiary, and then children as contingent in that order. You can also set up a guardianship for the assets should the unthinkable happens and you want somebody to safeguard assets for a minor. With that in place, you're also gonna to wanna to engage with an estate planning attorney and draft a will. A will can be revisited at any time during your lifetime and you always wanna revisit any time the dynamics of your family change. As a first generation college student, something that's most important to me and my family is ensuring that my children are prepared for college. One thing that we did is we opened a 529 just as soon as we could. Through the provider that we used, as soon as their age registered at one month, we were able to open that account and we make monthly contributions. Now, even the most modest of monthly contributions can have a profound compounding effect over the next 15 to 20 years. An additional benefit is that it's given us the opportunity to deposit checks from relatives when they send for birthdays or holidays, and also offer us an alternative to them shipping toys across the country, and also having the added benefit of alleviating some of the clutter around our house. Now, when our, when our son is fortunate enough to realize that he has this account, we're gonna acknowledge every single person who's contributed to it and follow with thank you cards out to each respective relative. Uh, there can also be unexpected medical expenses associated with having children. Those can be mitigated through a couple of different sources. One of them is a health savings account. So if you're in a high deductible healthcare plan, you're eligible to open a health savings account either through your employer or you can go out through the private sector. The nice thing about a health savings account is that the funds carry from year to year and, def and accumulate pre-tax or tax deferred similar to a 401k. Our hope is that these funds will go forever unused, but in the event you do have an unexpected medical expense down the road, those invested funds should accumulate over time. If you're not in a high deductible plan, but you're still interested in deferring additional funds for future medical expenses, you're also eligible to open a flexible savings account. The contribution limits are lower, and one thing to keep in mind is that those funds don't carry over year to year. They must be used on a year by year basis. There's another type of flexible savings account which my family has found most advantageous, and that's a dependent care flexible savings account, where you can defer up to $5,000 pre-tax into the FSA to help offset the rising cost of childcare. Now essentially you pay for childcare out of pocket and then submit claims to be reimbursed from your pool of pre-tax funds. Those are also use it or lose it, but given the skyrocketing cost of childcare, we've never been in a, anywhere close to losing any of those funds on a year by year basis. And finally, the last area that I wanted to talk about was security and identity theft. So fraudsters can go on using children's identity for years prior to detection. Most children probably have about 15 to 20 years before they start to delve into identity checks, background checks, or utilization of credit. So all three credit bureaus will allow to place a credit freeze on a minor's credit file. Another thing that you can do is to have a passport issued to your minor child 
What this will do is start a photographic documentation of your child that is tied to their fingerprints to help mitigate future risk of somebody using their identity. And finally, our home is another area where we became aware of, just our general well-being within our house. So we installed a fully integrated security system where we have a sound on every door which is different and indicates possibly an outgoing toddler getting near the pool or an incoming bad guy. It also has a fully integrated camera. So if you are utilizing that passport and traveling abroad and there's somebody suspicious at your front door, you can give the appearance of being home anywhere from the world. The added benefit of this is that you get a little bit of a discount on your homeowner's policy. And should the worst happen, you also get, a, in our case, a reduction of deductible on any burglary claim. Now, adding children to your family can be one of the most rewarding and stressful positions that anybody can ever possibly be in. It's been a wonderful experience for my wife and I, but instilling some of these plans has just helped alleviate some of the risk going forward and helps us sleep a little bit better at night. Thank you.